Hello, my Yarny friends. I'm Sarah Satch, and welcome to Friday Fun Day. <laughs> I'm so excited about this pattern today because you can make a spiffy chicken and a spiffy turkey off this same pattern. They're stitched exactly the same, except for how we changed colors. And of course, our turkey has a waddle. They're great size. They measure nine inches from feather to feather. And they're about 11 inches tall from feet to feather. <laughs> they're just so cute. I had this idea that I wanted to make a turkey hot pad that was different. It is thick, it's two layers. And the neat thing about this is if you wanted to make it into a fun little stuffy, just leave an opening, stuff it, and you've got a stuffy spiffy chicken or turkey. They're lots of fun. They're fun. They're also kind of silly, so they're great things to have out when you have company over if you want to chat about weird things. <laughs> As my grandson says, weird, but in a good way. <laughs> so they're super fun, and you just you can make them whatever colors that you want to. I wanted to stick with the colors that I did, the hot pads, where I did the chicken hot pad, and the turkey hot pad. I wanted them to sort of match and be the same colors. So it's a lot of fun. They're really easy to stitch up. It's all simple stitches, nothing fancy. And I think you're really going to have some fun with these. Now, you can find the complete pattern with a bunch of pictures on my blog. And as always, I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. So let's make some spiffy chickens and turkeys. <laughs> to make a spiffy chicken or spiffy turkey, <laughs> you're of course going to need some yarns. Now I did all of mine in acrylic yarns I had on hand, but of course if you want to do this in cotton you certainly can. Remember I'm making mine for decorations but if you want to use them as actual hot pads or um, pot holders, you can. Just make sure you use a cotton or maybe a wool that's not going to burn because acrylic does melt when something hot is put on it. So keep that in mind when you're making and picking out your yarns. Now, this is a cream yarn that I used. Orange, red, some white, and some black for the chicken. But for today's demonstration, we're going to be doing everything the same. The only difference is I'm going to make it look like a turkey. And so what we're going to do is the body portion, we're going to use this beige color. For all the tail feathers, we're going to use this variegated. And this is that Premier Basics that I used before. And um, when we did this turkey and chicken coaster. And this is a nice go together, isn't it? Yeah. And I like this one because it has short variegated striping, not the long one. So you get lots of fall colors in there to make it look like a turkey. All right, these are all medium weight number four yarns. As we go along, I will explain to you the difference in the feathers because the chicken, we've got like side feathers and then the comb in red. But with the turkey, we're going to do all of this in the variegated so it looks like the back of the turkey's tail feathers. Because remember, turkeys don't have a comb. <laughs> we are going to add a waddle for the turkey, although the chicken doesn't have one. All right, But everything is done the same. We'll make the, the body portion the same, the feathers, the eyes, and the nose. Or not, that's not a nose, that's a beak. <laughs> And then of course the little feet at the bottom. We're also going to be, I'm gonna also going to show you how to add a little tie if you want to add one so you can hang it up also. So there's gonna be lots of components to it, but it's not hard. I just know you're going to love this pattern because you can make it into a spiffy chicken or a spiffy turkey. We're going to be stitching everything with our H hook, which is a five millimeter crochet hook. You need a needle for weaving in ends, and of course, a pair of scissors. We're going to be making the body portion first, and you're going to need to make a front 
and a back. It's double thick. And that's where I say, if you want to make it into a little pillow, you just leave a little opening, stuff it, and then close it up. But I'll tell you more about that when we get there. All right, so we're gonna begin with our beige yarn and make two bodies, a back and a front, for our spiffy turkey. We're gonna start at the bottom of the body and work our way up, all right? So we're going to begin with the color you've chosen for your bodies, with the slip knot, and then we're going to chain 17 chains. And I do recommend you chain this initial chain a little bit loose, because you don't want the bottom of it to be puckered up. All right, so we're going to chain loosely 17 chains. Seventeen. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn and we're going to place a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. So yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over and go through the second two. Now you'll have these three chains on the end and that's going to count as our first double crochet. And now we're going to place one double crochet in each of our chains working across. All right, one double crochet in each of our chains working across. We began in the fourth chain from the hook and stitched one double crochet in each across. Now we count this chain three as our first double crochet, so we have 15 double crochets. We're going to chain three and turn. Our chain three will count as our first stitch on every row. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to increase at the beginning and end of our row. So we're going to double crochet in that first double crochet stitch. And then we'll stitch one double crochet in each across. And then when we get to that last double crochet, we're going to stitch two double crochets in that stitch. All right, so we're gonna double crochet all the way across. We increase by one at the beginning we stitched one double crochet in each stitch across, and now we're at our last double crochet, and we're going to stitch two double crochets in this last stitch. And chain three. So, on row one, we had 15. We increased at the beginning and end on row two, so we have 17 double crochets. We chained three and turn. And now we're just basically going to repeat that. We're going to double crochet in the first stitch because we want to increase by one. And then we'll double crochet in each of those stitches across. And when we get to that last stitch, we're going to increase again. The body of our chicken or turkey, whichever you're making, is actually going to resemble an egg. It's going to be a oval. See how that looks, how it's increasing on this side? And this side will do the same thing. We'll finish stitching across and stitch two double crochets in our last stitch. I finished stitching row three across, brings me to my last stitch and I'm going to stitch two double crochets in that last stitch. And chain three. So now on row three, we have 19 double crochets. 15, 17, 19. We're increasing by two on each row. Now we're going to do row four. We chained three and turn, and we're basically going to do the same thing. So we'll stitch a double crochet in the same stitch as our chain three, which increases by one, one double crochet in each of those double crochets across, 
And when we reach that last double crochet, we're going to stitch two double crochets in that last stitch. So on row four, I again increased at the beginning and the end, and so we have 21 double crochets. Chain three, and we're going to repeat this one more time. So again, we'll double crochet in that first stitch. We'll stitch in one double crochet, working all the way across our row. And then when we reach that last stitch, we'll stitch two double crochets. And this is our last row for increasing. All right, and again, you can see how it curves up on the side to form that oval. All right, so we increase by one, we're stitching one in each, and then we'll stitch two in our last stitch. I have completed row five. We increased at the beginning and end by one, so we have 23 double crochets, and we're not going to increase anymore. So on row six, we chain three, and turn. We're not going to stitch in that first one. We're going to stitch in the next double crochet because our chain three counts as our first. And we're just going to stitch one double crochet in each of the double crochets across. And we're also not going to increase at the end of our row. So just one double crochet in each of the double crochets across, no increases. We did not increase. We stitched one double crochet in the next because our chain three counts as our first, one double crochet in each, and then one double crochet in that last double crochet. So again, we have 23 double crochets and chain three. And so now what we're going to do for the next five rows is we're just going to repeat row six. One double crochet in each, chain three, turn. So we're going to repeat row six for five more rows. I have stitched those five additional rows. It brings us up to row 11. And of course we didn't increase, so we have 23 double crochets on each of those rows. You'll also notice that at the end of row 11, I only chained one. And that's because we're going to do some decrease stitches in order to bring that shape back in. All right, so I've only chained one. I'm going to turn my work. And what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet the first two together. So yarn over, go in that first stitch, and pull up a loop. Then we'll go in the next stitch and pull up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook instead of the three. Yarn over and go through the first three. Yarn over and go through the last two. So what we've done here is we've stitched those first two together so it caused us to decrease by one. And now we're just going to stitch a double crochet in each of those stitches across. When we reach those last two stitches, we're going to double crochet the last two together. I've stitched a double crochet in each across, and I have two stitches left. So we're going to stitch those last two double crochets together. So yarn over, go in the next one, pull up a loop, then go in the next one and pull up a loop. We're going to yarn over and go through the three loops yarn over and go through the last two. So now, instead of having 23, we have 21, because we decreased at the beginning and the end of our row. And we're just going to chain one. So now we're just going to repeat what we just did. We've chained one, we're going to turn our work, we're going to stitch the first two together. So yarn over, go in the first stitch, pull up a loop, then go in the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through those three, 
yarn over in the last two and then one double crochet in each of our stitches across and then again when we reach that last double crochet we'll stitch the last two together and so we're decreasing now instead of increasing and this is going to give us the shape of the top of our turkey and our chicken because remember the body is stitched exactly the same for the chicken as it is for the turkey. So we stitched a decrease, two double crochets together with the first two, one double crochet in each stitch across until we reach those last two stitches and we're going to stitch these last two together. And you'll begin to notice, go ahead and do my chain one, you begin to notice that it's going to begin to decrease in. All right, so chain one, turn, and again, we're going to decrease with the first two stitches stitched together. And then we'll stitch across and decrease or stitch the last two stitches together again. So we've done two more rows of decrease. We have 19 and then 17 on row 14. And what we're going to do is we're going to repeat this two more times. We're going to decrease at the beginning and the end, double crochets in the middle, and we're going to repeat this two more times. I completed those last two rows, and on your last row you're going to have 13 double crochets. And then you're going to need to make a second one because we're going to put the two together to form our spiffy chicken or spiffy turkey. And again, it's all done the same for the chicken. It's just different colors. All right, so we have two bodies. So we need to tie off this one and this one. <laughs> And then we'll put them together. And we're going to be adding the yarn a specific place in order to make it easier for when we add the feathers. So we've got our two pieces all tidied up and we're going to put them together so that we can stitch them together. Now over here on the side you're going to count up to the ninth row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right and we're going to join our yarn that we're stitching them together with at the bottom of the ninth row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to join right here and make sure you join on that same spot on the other side and bring in your yarn. Now if you're going to make this into a stuffy or a little pillow, you're going to want to leave an opening over here to stuff it. All right, and we'll do that at the very end. But right now, we're going to evenly single crochet completely around the whole thing. All right, so to evenly single crochet, you want to make sure that you go into the sides of the stitches and not the holes, especially if you're going to make this into a little stuffy. And we're just going to single crochet and there is not a set amount of stitches that you need. You just want to try to get uh, in the sides and not the holes if possible. It just gives it a much neater appearance. And you want to make sure when you're stitching around that your stitches aren't too far apart and gapy, but you don't want them like all up on top of each other either. It's kind of just lining everything up and making sure you go through the sides of those stitches. Evenly single crochet all the way around. We're stitching the front and the back together. This makes for a nice thick pot holder as well as a decoration if you want to hang it up it's not as flimsy and of course if you leave an opening you can stuff it. <laughs> 
I think it would be fun to have a little stuffed chicken and a little stuffed turkey sitting around the house. <laughs> Especially if you're one of my friends who likes chickens, as I have quite a few of them. Chickens are a big deal right now. Everybody loves chickens. And you'll notice I'm just taking my time, making sure everything lines up. And when you get up here to the top, you want to make sure that all your stitches are all lined up. When you get up here at the top, you've got stitches to stitch in. And that makes that portion nice and easy because you can just go through those stitches. And that'll happen at the bottom as well. So I'm just going to single crochet in each of those stitches, stitching the front and back together. And I'm going to come all the way around back over here. All right. This is probably one of the most time consuming parts of this, and it's really not going to take that long. All right. I'm just about across the top. And then I'll just move on down the side, stitching evenly. And like I said, there's not a set amount of stitches. You want to just try to get them close enough together that they're going to stay put and not have space in between, but not so close that they're going to pucker up. So basically, you're just going to have to eyeball it as you go and do the best that you can to make it look neat and tidy. Nope, oh, there we go. So now I'm going around, I went around the top, and so now I'm going to head down this way and come back around and meet where I started. Now I've stitched all the way around single crochets evenly. And if you want to leave an opening to stuff it, you'll want to leave that opening on this side. But you, if, you do, if you're doing the chicken and you don't want to cut your yarn, you can stitch just across the back side to join back up here. All right. Just evenly single crochet across the back side or even the front side. Either one is fine so that you can meet back up here where we started, okay? That way you don't have to cut your yarn because with the chicken, we don't change colors. We come back up here and then just start doing our, ter our feathers here, all right? But with the uh, turkey, of course, you could cut and then join in with your new color. But if you don't want to cut your yarn and you want to stuff it, just do those single crochets across over here and join, all right? Just away so you don't have to cut your yarn. But I'm making the turkey, so I'm going to go ahead and finish my single crochets to join up where I started. And then it'll be time to add those tail feathers. And remember, the turkey doesn't have a comb, <clears throat> and so we won't be changing colors. But I'm going to tell you how to change colors for the chicken. It's really quite simple. There we go. All right, I'm going to join with my single crochet. Make a little chain one there. All right, so here is where I cut my yarn. And again, if you're making the chicken, don't cut your yarn because you're making your tail feathers or the first three of those feathers in the cream color. All right, so I've brought in my new color and this portion is done the same. It's just different colors than the chicken. All right, so we're going to single crochet in this first single crochet. We're going to skip the next one. And then in the next one, we're going to stitch two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. Skip the next and single crochet in the next. So there's one. And don't worry, we're going to come across and then we're going to come back around to make them a little bit taller. All right, so we skip the next, 
We skipped one single crochet, skipped one, and now we're going to make another feather. And again, if you're making the chicken, you'll be doing these in the same color as the chicken body. Two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Skip the next, single crochet in the next. So now we have two, and we'll do it again. All right, now we'll skip the next and single crochet in the next. So there is our first three tail feathers, and this should bring you up to the top. All right, if you're making the chicken, you're gonna wanna join your red in that single crochet. That's the second row, so let's go to the first row. In that single crochet, to do the three feathers on the top, all right? Now, leave your cream attached so that you can carry it across behind because you'll bring your cream back in over here. All right, so don't cut it. You're gonna carry it across and stitch these stitches over that cream color. If you're making the turkey, of course, we're not changing colors. So, there's our single crochet, we'll skip the next, and we're going to do this three more times on the top of the turkey or the chicken's head. And it's very important that you look at this and make sure that before you do the next row that everything, oops, I forgot to chain one. Oh, I did. Okay, <laughs> I chained one, two double crochets. Now, you wanna look at everything and make sure that the three feathers on the top of the head are centered on the head of the turkey. All right. Same thing with the chicken. They need to be centered on the top of the head of the turkey or the chicken. Well, you know, make sure they're centered on the head of the chicken or the turkey, whichever you're making. <laughs> because you don't want them to be off. You know, you don't want them to be sticking over to the corner or something. unless you want a silly one, then that's okay too. Because you may have to do some adjusting in order for that to be nice and even. All right, so there's my last single crochet. So now I have the three feathers on the top. And here's your chicken, where you changed colors to the red and did that across here. The single crochet, shell stitch, skip one all the way across, so you have three. Okay, so here you have the chicken. You did your three feathers in red here. You're gonna drop your red yarn to the back and then work the three cream colors here because you want three feathers here, all right, that are in cream. And then we'll turn and work back this way. And when you do these three, you'll just uh, pick up that red and go across and then finish with your cream, all right? All right, so now I need to do three on this side for my turkey. So here is my single crochet. Skip one and the two double crochets, chain one, two double crochet, shell. Oops, chain one. I keep forgetting to do that, don't I? Skip one, single crochet in the next. Skip one and the shell stitch for the feather. All righty. Skip one, single crochet. Skip one in our last feather.
skip the next and single crochet in the next and we're going to go ahead and chain one all right so we chained one we're going to turn our work we're going to go in that chain one space and stitch one two three four and five double crochets in the chain one space we're going to chain one single crochet in the single crochet and chain one and we're doing those chain ones before and after the single crochet in order for it to lay a lot nicer than just puckering up okay so now we're going to come to the next chain one space and stitch five double crochets one two oops three four and five chain one single crochet in the single crochet and chain one all right that's how they look on the back side but when you turn it over you'll see that they'll stand up nice and pretty all right and we're going to do this all the way across and on the chicken you're going to have to change colors to your red on those three center feathers because that's going to be its comb instead of feathers chain one and single crochet in the single crochet and chain one and so on the chicken this is where you're going to change colors to your red is on that single crochet all right so you'll bring back in your red and stitch your single crochet and then chain one all right and then you can carry across your cream if you want to or you can cut it off whichever is easiest for you I like to do things where I don't have to weave in as much all right and so I'm just gonna go across stitching single crochet chain one shell stitch with five double crochets chain one and repeat all the way around and again it's the same on the chicken the only difference is you're changing colors at the top for the chicken's comb instead of tail feathers all right and see how that looks this is the back of course when we turn it over this is the front and you'll just take your shell stitches and kind of cup them forward and it'll give it just a little bit of a yeah you know forward movement okay but we are stitching from the back so um it's going to need that all right so i'm going to finish off these shell stitches and then we can make some eyes and a beak and feet <laughs> and give our turkey and our chicken a spiffy face <laughs> i finished my last feather i'm going to chain one and then join to that first single crochet with a slip stitch and cut my yarn and then we need to just weave this all in make it nice and tidy but i'm going to hide it in the back for right now so you can see the front and so you'll need to take each of those little shells and just pull them forward and so on the turkey it looks like the tail feathers on the chicken you've got side feathers and then a comb and so with the same pattern we've got two different looks all right let's make a beak for our chicken and turkey we're going to start with our slip knot and we're going to chain two and you can see i'm using an orange yarn now in the second chain from the hook we're going to stitch two single crochets one two and chain one now we turn and we're going to stitch two single crochets in those two single crochets so for row two we'll have four single crochets one and two chain one and turn 
Now for row three, we're going to place two single crochets in that first one. One and two. Then we'll place one single crochet in the next two. And then two single crochets in that last one. So now we have six. All right, we're going to chain one and turn and we're going to evenly single crochet down the side. There we go. Then we get to that point, we're going to single crochet, chain one and single crochet. And then we'll move back up the side, evenly single crocheting. Yarn got not there. And then we'll join to that first single crochet. And we're going to tie off and leave a long tail of yarn, about 12 inches. That way we can sew that onto our hot pad. I'm going to go behind that next stitch and grab that loop and pull it to the back so we have a nice finish on the front. There we go. And you'll notice we may have a hole or two in here. And what we can do with our tail of yarn is we can thread it on a needle and kind of cover those in. We have to weave it in anyway, right? So we'll just kind of go around and sort of close up those holes. It happens sometimes when you do a small project like this, you get a few holes. And so we can just sort of close those up as we're weaving in. Make it look nice and neat and weave in at the same time. All right. There we go. Flip that off. And so now we have a nice beak for our turkey and our chicken. Now our chicken already has his, so we're going to put this one on our turkey. And it's kind of up to you how high up you want to put it, how low you want to put it. I put it kind of even with that last feather, just like that. And so we'll grab our needle and stitch this on. All right, now you can pin this in place if you want to. I don't. I just sort of give it to make sure it's the shape that I want and I just start sewing. Now, you want to be careful not to go all the way through to the back and just stitch in the top layer of the stitches. And I usually kind of go around and then come back around. Then I peek to the back, make sure I'm not coming through. Let me get that corner over here so we have a nice beak. There we go. You see I'm just sort of, it's more of the first row around is kind of a stay stitch and helps with getting at the shape that I want. So we want to make sure we get the point of the beak. Whoops, lost my yarn there off my needle. Want to make sure that we get the point of the beak at the bottom and the two sides, you know, so it looks like a beak. There we go. And then I'll work my way back up, being careful not to go through to the back. Okay, so I like how it's laying. I like the shape. And so I'll just go back around again, making sure I don't go through the second layer. Now, if you want to do this before you put the two together, you can. I just like doing it at the end. <clears throat> it's just a preference. All right. And you may have to shape it some. Sometimes when you stitch it on, you kind of you know, poke it around a little bit. So you just have to shape it some. I like how it's looking. And so I'm just going to weave that in. So my turkey has one eye. I'm going to show you how to make the second eye and apply it. 
So I've got white yarn here. We're going to start with a chain two. We're going to stitch six single crochets in that second chain from the hook. There's two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to go right to that next single crochet and stitch two single crochets in those six. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now we'll join to that next single crochet and we'll tie off leaving about a 12 inch tail. There we go. <laughs> so that we can sew that eye on. All right, I'm going to go up in that next loop and pull that back so we have a nice finish on our eye. We have a hole. So we're going to take that, grab our needle, and we'll close up that hole. So we don't want a hole in the middle of our chicken or turkey eye. We'll just go around there. There we go. I like to go back the way I came. Sometimes it makes it a hole better. All right, now before we sew our eye on though, we need to give it a pupil. And we're gonna do that with some black yarn here. We'll just cut off a piece. And we're gonna make a little French knot in the center of the eye. Now if you'd rather make a slit or a line or something else, you certainly can. We're gonna come up from the bottom in the center. Leave a tail so that you can tie that off. And I always hold it with my finger and I'll wrap it three times around. And then we'll go right next to it. You don't want to go down back in that same hole or you might lose your French knot in that hole. It might slide through. All right, so there's our French knot. We'll just turn this over. There we go. And we'll just tie this so that that French knot stays put. All righty, clip that off. So now we have a nice pupil in our eye and we can add this eye to our turkey. And you're basically going to sew this on the same way you did our little beak. I like to leave enough yarn so that I can go around twice. The first time is, is basically a basting stitch so that I know it's gonna be where I want it to be. And I'm very careful to try not to go through that back layer because we don't want the stitches to show through on the back. All right, so we're gonna sew that around I'm almost back around here and trying to just go through the top layer of the stitches. And I like where it's at. It needs a little more shaping to get it nice and round because I like them to pooch a little. If you want yours flat, they, you can stitch them on flat. I just kind of like them to pooch a little. I think it gives them personality. <laughs> the end of this bent needle is a little bit blunt, so keep that in mind if you're using your bent needle to stitch your things on with. All right, so I'm just gonna go around again, make sure that eye is where I want it and that the eye is on securely because I know these are gonna end up going through the wash, so we wanna make sure it's not going to come off. All right, let me look at those. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, 
I'm going to go to the back. And I like to go through the backs of those stitches. And now my turkey and my chicken have eyes and a beak. <laughs> All right, so to make the feet, you're going to start with a long strand of yarn, about eight inches there, slip knot, and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now you're going to turn and slip stitch in the next four chains. Now you'll chain five again. One, two, three, four, five, and you'll do that again. Slip stitch in those next four chains. All right, now you want to join to the single or the last slip stitch of that previous chain, okay? Now we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and do that again. Slip stitch in the second, third, and fourth, second, third, and fourth chain. There we go. And then you'll chain five again, and do that again. One, two, three, and four, and then you'll join to the top of that last stitch so that you have two feet, okay? We'll go ahead and chain one and cut the yarn. Now you're gonna come over here where you started and join over there so that your feet are all together your chicken toes and your turkey toes. And then all you do is you just take it and attach it right here. I've already done this one, but you bring it through and then you just tie it in the back and it just sits there. They're both the same. And that's how you do the chicken and the turkey feet. All right, the last thing I wanna do is show you how to make a waddle for your turkey. It's super simple. You're gonna use your red yarn Give yourself a couple of inches there, six or eight. And we're going to do our slip knot and chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're going to turn and slip stitch in the first two chains. One, two. Then we're going to single crochet in the next two. One, two, and then half double crochet in the last two. One, two. So we started in the second chain from the hook and we did two slip stitches, two singles, and two half double crochets. And then we're just gonna cut our yarn, tie that off, and you've got a waddle. And let me show you on my turkey here. You just take it, and attach it right up underneath there with needle and thread. I'll, I don't sew it down or anything. I just take these two ends, stick it right up to the beak, and attach it with my needle and the yarn tails. If you want to make a hanger on your turkey or your chicken, so you can hang it up, it's really simple. Just take your matching yarn, hook it right up in here. Here's your three feathers and hook it in right there on that corner. Then all the way there. And chain 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. All right. Clip that off. Tie that off. And then just take it and bring it back through here. and you've got a hanger.
Okay, so we'll go in the back. We want to make sure it's not coming undone. You know, you don't want your hanger to fall. So I always make a little loop going that way. And then we'll just tie that nice and securely. There we go. And now you can hang it up if you want for decoration. Just hang it right up. So now we have a spiffy chicken and a spiffy turkey to decorate for the holidays.